Today, I'm answering the age old question. Is artificial intelligence gonna take over the creative industry and I'm gonna have to live out my lifelong dream of becoming a barista or is that job gonna also be taken over by robots and then I'm gonna have to quit everything and live in the woods? My name is Brooks. I run a brand called Nowhere Land and this is episode 16 of Going Nowhere. That was a little dramatic, but for the last few months, the internet has been filled with conversations about AI and the creative industry. Most recently with the Lenza AI app, if you've seen on Instagram, everyone posting their portraits, you could pay a few bucks, throw a bunch of photos of yours, and this AI generated art will spit back a bunch of uh, drawings of you, I guess. There's also been Dolly through OpenAI, and then today we're gonna to focus on Mid Journey. So I've actually never really interacted with any of these AI apps because in the battle of robot versus human, I'm obviously on the human side, and that's the two sides of the coin. While I do really think this is interesting, in the long run, I feel like it's going to be hurtful to artists. Not that the internet and plagiarism and people stealing artwork doesn't already happen. This is just gonna make it way easier. So the big problem is, is that these apps like Dolly and Mid Journey and Lenza AI use these AI programs that basically scour the internet learning art from what already exists on the internet. Meaning it's taking artwork from people and then reproducing it into allegedly something new. But there's also people who are calling themselves AI artists, which they're basically putting in these prompts into these apps. The app is then giving them a piece of art that it's calling original and then they are using that to sell on prints and products when it's really not their art at all. So so calling yourself an AI artist isn't really a thing. It's just making it easier for shitty people to do shitty things. The point of this video is to see if I can give myself a prompt without looking at Mid Journey and then I'm going to give that same prompt to Mid Journey and see which one ends up being better. And if Mid Journey wins, I guess I'm no longer an artist. But first, let's dive into Mid Journey and really see what it can do. It's kind of impressive on one hand, but also terrifying on the other. So let's open up Mid Journey and see what kind of weird stuff we can do. This feels like we're about to get sucked into the matrix. Or are we currently in the matrix? So we clicked on join the beta and it took us into this discord where there's a bunch of different channels and you can check out what other people are currently creating. There's different themes to all of them and you can kind of go around and check those out. But when you're looking to generate your own prompts, you have to go to this like newbie room section and in the message line, you type in forward slash imagine and it's gonna come up with this little prompt box. And that's where you're gonna type in what you wanna make. So I'm gonna try to be as descriptive as possible in this first one to really see what kind of weird stuff it's gonna come up with. For this first prompt, I typed in owl merging with forest scene, forest scene within owl body, minimalist, graphic, illustration, whimsical, pop art patterns, nature. And then we're gonna hit enter. And then it's going to basically show you a percentage over on the right, how long it's gonna take for it to produce four images for you. What you are doing will always be highlighted in orange on the screen. Okay, so it looks like the percentage is getting there. It's going to actively update as the percentage gets close. Okay, so it looks like it finished something. now. Now, this is kind of close to what I was looking for. It's definitely not necessarily in the style that I'm trying to create. I'm trying to get something close to my style just to see how far we can push this. But it is pretty interesting what it came up with. Um, for the most part, it is within the idea of what I want it to be. It's now creating another set of designs for us to look at. That's pretty wild. So this is a great tool to use if you're concepting, trying to come up with new ideas, and maybe you're not sure where to start. You can type in a lot of stuff. Maybe you want a certain pose, or you have a certain idea that you just can't quite find an image of online. This is a great tool to use. Now, the problem is that a lot of people will just take this artwork and pass it off as their own. And that's where you just have to rely on human nature nature to not suck, but it normally does. I kind of like this idea where it's covering up the eye. Now, I didn't see these. It's still not really pinpointing the art style that I want, but it is doing a great job of giving me at least ideas. Because I would completely redraw this in my own style, but I do I do kind of like these poses. I don't know what else to put in there to make it hit the style that I'm looking for. I mean, look at this stuff, man. This is insane. All right, well, this is terrifying. Let's get into the prompt that I gave myself. 
and I'll show you the drawing that I made and then we will go head to head with Mid Journey and see what it makes based off of that same prompt. I gave myself for this ultimate AI art versus artist showdown is a red stag that merges into a nature scene. Mountains, trees, whimsical patterns, bright colors, minimal, graphic design, illustration based, line art. Then I even went into detail of antlers growing into branches with leaves growing on them with a small bird perched on one of the branches. It seems like when I was messing around with Mid Journey, it had a hard time doing more graphic based stuff. It always wanted to go like hyper detail or super realistic. So I don't know if that's something it can do. I haven't used it enough to really get the full grasp of its potential. Before I show you the final piece that I made, let's check out what Mid Journey came up with. So here's a collage of a bunch of different variations that it started spitting out. It gave me about 45 different options throughout the whole process. So I narrowed it down to my top four favorite that I thought were at least in the ballpark of what I was trying to do. Uh, I was trying to get something that was similar to my style so it could really be a head to head comparison. Maybe that's a good thing. Maybe that means I'm not out of a job. Maybe that means there is room for these two things to coexist. So let's check out the final results of Mid Journey and what I created and you can tell me what you think. Here's the final four pieces that I thought were the best and then here's my final design. Feel free to leave a comment below and let me know which one you think is better and if AI art is gonna take over the creative industry. Maybe you have a hot take on this whole new wave of technology. This is an interesting place to be. Uh, technology is getting so advanced that it's starting to blur the lines of creativity and art. So my final thought on all this is well, first of all, like and subscribe. Second of all, I think these AI apps are a great thing to get inspired from and utilize as a tool when coming up with concepts and creating a new piece. And like I said, the problem is with people that are not going to use it as just inspiration and they're going to use it as their own pieces of art. It's going to be interesting to see where all this goes. It's a this it's a tough one. But uh, anyways, thanks for watching. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think and I'll catch you in the next one.